Oh, I'm so sorry. This morning, because when I um, tend to open my um, computer for our class, oh, I'm so stressed because <laughs> there was a sudden inter um, power interruption <laughs> when I started to open my laptop. Oh, why there is no um, power? There is no internet. So when I open our um our lights, oh, that is interruption, and they don't have any um notice for uh, to us. So that's why um I wasn't able to message you immediately. Okay, and it was it will it um was back at um 12 12 30 this afternoon oh, it's too late yes so that's why when it was back again so i immediately called you so i'm so sorry for what happened this morning but it's okay uh, we will have time this afternoon right <laughs> yes. yes so how are you today are you busy no, I go busy. You are just um, at home, staying at home. Yes. Wow. So who is with who is who is with you in your house today? Um, your siblings. It's my brother. My brother, my mother, and father, and my also my oh. baby sister. Ah, oh, you are all complete this today. <laughs> yes, I just at home. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, what time is it? Uh, it's three, three a.m. at three p.m. in your country. So, are you done um, eating snacks? We don't eat snacks. Wow. Oh, I thought because you eat. Because we also eat lunch. Because we also eat lunch. So we don't eat snacks. Ah, I see. Because in our country, we usually. Um, eat snacks at 3 p.m. You will drink some coffee or and um, eat some bread like that before we will eat dinner at night. Oh, it will be very full. <laughs> yes, that is how we but usually. We, but we are have a big lunch, so we don't use we don't have snacks. Mm, so what time. time you eat lunch? Um, usually in your um. Huh. What you uh, what time you usually eat lunch? My, my country is from half past seven. No, no, no. Half um half past eleven to or half past half past twelve. Just that, and then we go to sleep. Oh, and then oh yes, it's the same in our country. But after when we wake wake up, and then that's the time we eat some snack or whatever <laughs> yes i also drink coffee so yes. i don't feel coffee. yes i don't i don't feel sleepy oh do you drink coffee too yes but i just drink a little mm, yes you put some just like a little bit <laughs> because it's not good for you right yeah yes all right so are you ready yes i'm ready Okay, look, so we will continue our lesson. So last time we discussed unit two on this topic, um, the e-communication. Okay, so we will continue page 16, the future of schools. Okay, how the is your school, school today? Yeah. Yes, the future of schools. Oh, it's very... What it's very good for an environment, that's right. Yes. Okay, so how is your school today? Different from the school your parents went to? Mm, do you know where they studied last time uh, when they were in still a student? Mm, yes, they also study in my school, but it's next to my school. Oh, so how do you compare that? 
their okay. school what what are some difference between your school and their schools yes is my is my school is bigger is so more than that uh, yes we are now in a modern uh, buildings right yes yes okay so um Let's read this article about the school of the air. So what is it and how is it different from a normal school? Oh, cool in the air. Oh, the wow. computers. Yes. Okay, so now let's read the text. Yo, uh, Lou, look. Going to school is normal with us for Australian students who live near big cities and towns. However, however, some children live on farms in the in the outback, a long way from the nearest schools. Thanks to the school of the air, they are still able to get an education. How does it work? Lessons are given by by a teacher who is in a studio. The lessons are sent to the hmm, I sent to the student by satellite. Satellite. Oh wow. So that they can assess them on their computers. They take part in the lesson in real time using the webcam. Hi, I'm Jack. I live on a cattle farm in Western Australia. I do all my lessons on my laptop at home. I have four lessons today. Today, there is a wait time and a microphone on the computer so that I can talk to the teacher and all the students. Teacher use an interactive whiteboard in the studio so we can type in our answer to the questions. Hmm. Which is fun. Which is fun. I send my homework by email. We all have a chance to meet to meet as sports day, which happens once a year. I'm really looking forward for it. Mm. Perhaps the school of the air is showing how education will work in the future, not just for children or the, for children who live in a remote area. Remote areas. areas. areas but for all of us, perhaps students will work from home and lessons will be given over the internet. The internet, schools with classrooms, libraries, music rooms, and science lab laboratories. Laboratories won't be needed. Oh, and your lab, you have no excuse for being less at school. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, how, what can you say about this? How is it uh, how is it different from a normal school? Different from most of the most normal school. Normal school yes. I talk about is to you. Hmm. Oh, I'm ready for a school. So you uh, Worry and then you run very, very fast to school. Yes. But in this, in this spoon of the air, not use that because because the lessons by by a teacher in the studio will talk and send you over the internet. Yes. And the students yeah, just, just like online, right? Online um lessons, right? Just online lessons. And then yes. and then the email and then the, our homework we send to the teacher by email. Yes. So there are also a whiteboard that is special. Do we tap do we type anything that we our answer to the questions of the of the teacher? Yes. So what do you prefer? Uh, do you like this? Um I refer. Yes, I refer to the have this school of the air because mm -hmm. we also have, but we don't, but we don't send the 
Mm. But we don't send our homework by email, but we just take pictures. All right. So it's very useful for some students who live in remote areas. It's far from the city, right? Yes, yes it's very useful for them, I think. I think. Yes, but the problem yes. here is that you have to have money to buy the computer and also the here. Yes. So I think what will happen is the school will provide the materials, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, so if this will be happen, so it should be the school would provide the materials. Um, the students will just pay, right? <laughs> just pay. Yes, okay, they will provide the computer. So um, maybe <coughs> the problem of the students is the internet. So mostly remote areas is very weak um, in terms of internet, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. So how could it be possible if um, internet is very weak? Yes. So this will be the first um, problem to solve the internet. It should be um, stable before they will um, proceed to this um, um, idea. <laughs> Yes, in the um, future. I have yeah. my ideas. I have my idea. Is okay. that this normal class is very useful because you can come to the teacher and you can come to see come to her every you need. Yes. So you you so you don't have to call her. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then mm, go to school that you will play with friends. Yes, I will. If I will be the one to decide, oh, I will just prefer to be as, as normal as before, right? Yes, that you will go to I school every day. Of, I also think again that yeah. this school, our school, is very hard to be um, perfectly oh, all class because yeah. also have some some friends or somebody. Some student or student mm -hmm. is have a problem about the internet. Right. So it's so hard. So hard yes. for that school is perfectly on the students. Yes, that's right. So, but uh, you said you prefer to to have school like this. <laughs> yes, but um, I like both. Uh, yes, it's also course. convenience. This convenience, but I think um, look at the look at the computer a lot. You will have problem with your eyes. Yes. So in school, you can interact with your classmates. You can uh, go outside and play outside yeah. with friends. Yes. So you can do exercise with friends. Yes, and you can do board games or board activities, right? Yes, so normal yes. school is also con most convenient for all yeah. the friends. Yes. So for this um, kind of studies, you will just sit down and um, listen and what? At home. Yes. So these are some this there are some advantages, but there are also some disadvantages, right? Yes. Compared to the normal schools. Yes. Okay, now let's proceed to the speaking skills. Work with a partner. Talk about the, the oh, so this time the advantages. Okay, so we are done here. We're talking about the advantages and the disadvantages of learning with the school of the air. Yes, OK, so now let's proceed to number three. Find the words in the text for the following. OK, number one. Can you read number one, Luke? Yes, a place where TV programs, films and recording are made. Hmm. What it's is this? It's the TV or the newspaper. Mm -hmm. A place where TV programs, films, and recordings are made. Where is this? In the from the text. 
It's the computer. No. A place you can find recordings, films, or on TV programs. This is what you call studio, right? Yes. Studio. Yes. Okay. Number two. A piece of equipment that is sent into space to travel around the world in order to receive and send information. How wow, what you call this? Computer. No. From the text. It's the... Hmm? The Sati It's the satellite, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, you already forget. Okay, so satellite is the one who um, used to send lessons to the students. Okay, number three. A camera which records moving pictures and sound so they can be shown on the internet and this happened. Webcam. Mm -hmm. webcam. Yes, a webcam. Okay, number four, good. A small computer that you can carry with you. Mm -hmm. A small computer. What do you call this? A small computer? Interactive whiteboard. Mm -hmm. No, interactive. Laptop. It's yes. That is the small computer. It's very handy. And you can bring it wherever you are. All right, number six. Oh, number five, sorry. A piece of equipment for recording sound so that you can send a lot signal Electronically, yes. What is this? A piece of equipment for recording sound so that it can be sent electronically interactive whiteboard mm -hmm. interactive whiteboard no you are recording sound wait Remote. Mm -hmm. No. Microphone. Microphone. All right. You have to send the sound. This by me and you. This. So that is microphone. How about number six? A light, a light electronic white screen which is used by teachers and students in the classroom. Yes, and that is? Yes, the interactive whiteboard. Yes, the interactive whiteboard. All right, good. So now let's proceed to number four. So this time, write, write a he heading for each paragraph of the article. Paragraph one, going to school in Australia. Australia. Oh, so can you make a heading for each paragraph? Look, okay, now um, 
first paragraph is going to Australia. How about on the second paragraph? Can you make a heading on yes, this paragraph? Lessons. Heading. Lessons are given by a teacher who is in, who is a, studio. in a studio. The lessons the are lessons. sent by the students by satellite so that they can access them on the, on the computers. They take part in the lessons on real time using a web card. All right. How, uh, what is the heading? Okay. Can you make a heading? What's heading? Heading. Heading. Okay, so write a heading for each paragraph of the article. Oh, so yeah. now, okay. first paragraph is going to school in Australia. Okay, how about the second paragraph? What's the heading of this text? I think sending Less sending lessons. How how lessons send to the teacher. Okay, or sending lesson through mm -hmm. satellite. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Okay, how about this third paragraph? Introduce yourself. Introduce Jack. Introduce Jack. Mm -hmm. Introduce Jack. Is that his introduce? Introducing. In, it in, yes. Jack is in, introducing about his, his self. Introducing him, his himself? Yes, and yeah. also how, how that he can send lessons daily. Yes. How the lessons um, happen daily. Yes, okay. Describing the lessons daily. Yes, okay. How about the last paragraph? The new schools. Mm -hmm. The new school? Yes, because the new school in this recycle is of the air. Yes. So this school. is new, new school. Yes. Yeah. So maybe the headings is school of the air, right? Yes. Or how does school of the air work? All right. Very good. Okay, now let's proceed to number five. Write out the sentences using will, future passive form of the verbs in the brackets. Okay, like for example, number one. Yeah. Cars uh, won't be driven by people. They, they will be controlled by computers. Yes, they will control by computers. Okay. So control, they will control. Control, control uh, you will add control. ed, okay? So because yes. it is future passive. Yes, can I, can you let me to what? What? Can you let you me to what? Future. What? Future. Ah, okay. Go.
I'm back. All right, so let's continue number two, Luke. Can you answer this? Just messaging will replace 5 points to test technology. Yeah, so we'll uh, replace. Okay, good. Number three. On houses, on houses will heat heat it. Yes. By solar we'll, power. Is it will? Only will heated will be heated. Oh, no, will we are on will heated. Okay, good. Number four. There will be. There will be, um, there will be no shops in shopping centers or shopping will be online. We're done online. Will yes. be done online. Yes. So you will use B, right? Like oh, I just in number four we will use will be will be heated. Yes, will be heated. Okay. Wait. Yes, and um, number five or number uh, number four, there will be no shops or shopping centers. All oh, shopping Only will shopping be done. will be done. Mm -hmm. All right. Films, how about five? Films, films will will not be sold at the cinema. They will be they will they will be downloaded and watched. At home. Yes, very good. Okay, and will be will download and they will download and will be watched at home. Yes, they will download and what will watch watch at home okay good now let's um, proceed to some discussion look so number six what will schools be like 20 years from now <laughs> okay can you answer this question first what do you think what will uh, schools be like after 20 years Hmm, it will have robots in a canteen. Oh, <laughs> uh, in canteen? Yes. Yes. And, uh, yes, and all the students go go outside by go outside, but don't use legs, but they use the, um, the fan to go. It is a fan to go out. Yes, Inside and I think there's a no... I like other men. And then the um, the white bar is become a TV. Mm -hmm. Or the each of the students will have their own uh, computer inside the classroom. No more textbooks. No, I say we do this. We will have a computer. We'll go there in her in his head. Their head. Yes, the eyeglass. Chief. You know yes, that the glass chief. glasses. Chief. The chief that Elon yes. Musk said that will. Um, oh, we've studied that last time, right? Do you remember that? Yeah. On our first lesson, we've studied that, that there is um, um, like uh, glasses that uh, put in your head and then connected to your eyes. Yes. Yes. So, is it possible to happen 20 years after? Yes, because Elon Musk said. The chips of the computer, the smaller computer that we inventions will, inventions will be in chips, will yeah. be in the head of all the people in the world. So, um, also Vietnam, also Vietnam and all the country like Russia and also China. So, what do you think? Uh, is there um a um a teacher twenty years after? No, or that's no, more teacher. Teacher. no more teacher. 
they will just provide the <laughs> the gadgets yes it's like a loudspeaker <laughs> okay i um i think so <laughs> but it's so boring we don't have teacher no yes it's um of course it's very nice um to study like uh, the normal way we study right yeah yes all right all right so number one which of the following do you think will happen can you read a to f yes there will be no school students will work from home and all the lesson will be given on the internet the teacher will be replaced by the computer mm -hmm. is it possible to happen yes both yes. will no longer exist everything will be downloaded from the internet exams and tests will be taken online home homework will not be handwritten it will be done on the computer and we, it will be marked by a computer activity such such as music, drama, and sports won't be done. Won't be done in schools. They will be org organized in a local community. All right. So, do you think it will happen? Yes, activities such as music, drama, sports will be done in schools and will be organized in local communities. All right. So, how about teachers will be replaced by computers? You can continue. What other chance right. do you think there will be? Mm -hmm. I think that homework will be handwritten because there are also the um, email. Like this. Yes, yes. So it will be done on the computer now. Or maybe you will um, just copy and paste, right? Yes. But uh, if the homework will be your own um, own understanding, own idea, so you need to write. Yes. Now it's not possible, maybe. Okay. Yes. How about? Yes. Yes. What okay, will so students miss if they only learn from home and over the school? What will students miss? They will miss doing. Um, Learn by heart. Yes. And don't learn and then forget a test. Yes. So There's a lot of things that the students will be missed inside the schools. Yes. Yes. So it's um it's um very nice again to study at school then um to study to to uh, study in uh, on the air yes yes all right so i wish i hadn't done that oh what is this what do you think about this topic i wish i hadn't done that <laughs> hmm. when might you think or say this When is the time that you can um, say to yourself that, oh, I wish I hadn't do done that. It's my fault or something like that. <laughs> when what? You've got mistakes. You've got wrong decision, right? Yes. 
Yes, when you make a wrong decision sometimes. Okay, so you can uh, say to yourself, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Okay, so now let's work. With the, read the carton. What's the story behind the pictures? What do you think has happened? So write down your ideas to compare the compare them in small small groups. Okay. I wish I hadn't seen that. Can you read the script? Uh, the yes. I wish I hadn't said that. Okay. If only I wait and thought about it a bit longer, I should read it before I send it. Oh. oh. So, what happened to this girl, to this woman? What do you think? Hmm. I don't know what he said, but I think he, I think he said something to there to president or something. Yes, yeah, so like some, um, he got mistakes. <laughs> yes. Or yes, um, she has some doubts about what she sent. So he might uh, sure <laughs> of what is what it is. So um, that's the time. Uh, these are some uh, these are some phrases or sentences you are commonly used, right? Yes. Oh, I should haven't read it before I send it. If I only waited and thought about it for a bit longer. All right. So number two, rewrite the following sentences using the prompts. Okay. So let's study first. The uh, grammar besides, look, so use of English. Wish that if only plus past perfect or should have or shouldn't have. Okay. So use, yeah. use or wish plus past perfect or if only plus past perfect to express regret about something you've done. Yes, you have some regrets something you've done so um, like for example on this sentence can you read i wish i wish i would send this i had i just had to read it before i sent oh yes. yeah so i wish i wish plus what I wish plus I hadn't or I had. Okay, so if only I hadn't sent that email. Okay, so these are some expressions you will use when you are um, expressing regret, right? Yes. Do you know the word regret? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's read the meaning first. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, can you read the meaning, Luke? When you say regret, yes, a feeling of a sad about something that, um, something sad or wrong or about mistakes that you have, have made, and then a wish that it could have been different and better. Yes, so that it's is regret. Like this. Okay. I break, I break the, the dish when I wash the dishes. Oh. <laughs> so I'm very, so I'm. <laughs> uh, so oh. maybe that's the time you will say the expressions. Oh, I wish I. 
I was like all broken and the wrist and the disc will be so broken. So I, I wish I be... I could be careful next time. <laughs> yeah. I will be I will be careful next time. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So um I wish I should I should be careful next time. All right. So you can also you should have. I I should have plus past participle to express self criticism or criticism to others. Okay, like for example, I should have waited. I shouldn't have sent that email. Oh, you should have phoned me. You shouldn't have sent that email. Okay, if I will criticize you, oh look, you you should be uh, you should be careful of washing dishes so that it will not be broken again. Okay, so that is um, a criticism to others. Yeah. So you will use should, should, okay? Should or should have plus past participle. Okay, so yeah. if you will uh, say some regret to yourself or to others, you will use I wish I had or I hadn't. Yeah. Then if you will say some criticism to yourself or to, to, to others, you will use I should or I should have, okay? Plus past participle. You get it, Luke? Yes. All right. Very good. So now let's try to answer this number one to see. Can you read? Okay, number one. This is an example. I will read this for you. I've eaten too, eaten too much. I've wished I hadn't eaten too so much. Uh, I've eaten too much. This is what? Criticism, right? But when you say, I wish I hadn't eaten too much, that is self-regret, right? Yes. Okay, now how about number two? Can you answer this? Where is the criticism and where is the regret? I didn't do enough. I didn't do enough. If, um, if only, if only I get, I, I get eight so that I wouldn't be sad. If only I had enough, if on, okay? If only I had enough revision for the exam yeah. right okay so you will use if if you will use if if or if only plus the next word is past perfect okay yeah yeah so if only i had hadn't sent okay sent is the past perfect tense all right, number three. I didn't bring my camera. I wish. What's the next? Answer, Lou. I wish, I wish, I wish upon a star. <laughs> I wish, I wish, oh, I wish, wish I wish I bring. No, so I, I didn't. Wish I bring my camera before. I wish I had. Okay. I wish I had bring. I wish I had bring my camera before. Okay, so number four. Okay, try to look at this. This is the hands and how to answer the 
questions. Okay, number four. Number four. Yes. Oh, what makes you busy there? Um, you should, you should, um, you should drink milk to read the death. You shook the bottle before you open it. That was silly. You yeah. should not have, oh, it's already, um, has an answer. You have shaken the bottle before you open it. Okay, so how about number five? I didn't bring. You should, you shook the bottle before you open it. That was silly. You shouldn't have shaken the bottle. Yes, shouldn't plus have plus past participle. Mm -hmm. Should. Okay, how about number five, Luke? Should have. Or shouldn't have. Can you answer number five? Yes. I didn't bring. I didn't bring. Um. I didn't bring book to read. It's. I wish that I bring book before. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't bring a book to read. Now I'm bored. I should, I should, should plus what? What's the next? What's your answer again, Luke? I should read a book to read before. I should have. Okay, don't forget to use have. Yeah. And then plus past participle. Okay. So bring will become, what is the past participle Brand. of the word bring? Brand. No, there is no brang. Bring, growth. Okay. Oh my goodness. You don't know the past participle of the word bring? So I should have growth book, a book to read, okay, book, hello, did you understand what I am saying, yes. okay, um. so again, should plus have plus past participle, okay, just like this, should have waited, waited is past participle, so this time I didn't bring. Bring will become brought. Okay? I should have brought. You understand that? Okay, yes. how about number six? You didn't take. You should drink wear jacket in the winter when it's yes. cold. Oh. Again, okay, didn't take, okay, should have take, what is the past participle of the word take? What is the past participle of the word take? Chicken. Take, two. Taken, yes. So you will say you should have taken a jacket to school. Okay? Look. <laughs> you should bring jacket when it's cold. Yes, so you should have. Okay, don't forget to, to use have. Should have. You should have. Okay? Yes. Yes. All right. So number three, think about things you wish you'd done or hadn't done and things you should have 
done or shouldn't have done. Right, Elise, then tell your partner. Okay, so this time, talk about family. Phone my grandma's last weekend. Okay, can you use, uh, can you use, use, sorry, can you use, I wish I had, look, yeah. but your, um, the situation is you phoned your grandma last weekend. Okay, it's all about your family. So, think about the things you wish you'd, you'd done to your grandma. And then you will start with saying, I wish I had. Can you continue? Luke, where are you? I wish I had, I wish I had phone. Mm -hmm. I wish I had phone my grandma last weekend, right? Yes. And told her. I love you. Yes. Yes. Or I and told her I love her so much. Okay. So what do you wish that you hadn't do? Done. I wish I hadn't. Oh, it's all about your friends this time. Yes. So I wish I hadn't been in a bad mood this morning. Okay, friends. Yeah. I wish I hadn't, what? I hadn't got angry to my friend. Or I wish I hadn't shouted to my friend. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, the situation is you are in a bad mood yeah. this morning. So what you will wish after that? <laughs> I wish I hadn't. Can you make your own sentence, Luke? Yeah. Okay, go. Go, go, I was, Power Ranger. I wish I, I had on. I wish I go on. I wish I care. I, I be careful. I wish no, I be you will use I hadn't. Okay, don't forget to use hadn't. I, I wish I hadn't. And then plus past tense. Okay, go. I wish I had done for in for in a mood i wish i hadn't phone my friends with bad with a bad mood very good okay so now this one i should have can you continue this i should have plus past participle okay so this time it's all about sports and free time Played better in the match. Okay, can you continue this sentence? I should have. I should have time to play better no, in the plus, match. Um, verb, past participle. I have plus past participle. I have. I should have. I should, I should have played better in have. the next match, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so how about this time? Negative structure. Can you yes. make this? I shouldn't have. Okay, it's all about school. Been late for the first lesson. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have been late for the first lesson. Yes, I shouldn't have late 
um, be late? Been late. Yes, I shouldn't have been late for the first lesson next time, right? Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay, so we will just stop until here and we will continue listening for on um, Wednesday. Okay? Yeah, so after this um, lesson, look what will be your activity. Just at home. Bye. Bye. But I also go to the so go to a party. Ah, you will go outside this time? No, um, at 7 p.m. Ah, after, oh, wow. Is it a birthday party again? Yes. Wow. <laughs> um, I think you're so happy today because you are, your father yeah. is around? Uh, yes. Your daddy is around. I think you're so happy today. Yes. Oh. Okay, so um, maybe see you again on Wednesday? Yes. Yes, okay. So I hope um, everything is doing fine on Wednesday and I can um, have a class to you earlier, okay? Yes, it's yes, no problem. I'm so sorry for that. Oh. It's so, no problem because in you. our country, in this noon, mm, in the afternoon, it's also the um, week, but because I have because I have a big big Wi-Fi, so I don't very really scared, right? Yeah. So how many Mbps is your Wi-Fi? Fifty. Yes. Wow. For me, it's only 30. Yes, it's 50 because 50 is so big for strong. Wow. I hope I had that kind of Wi Fi too. Yes, but it's, it's, no, it's, why, it's, it's why expensive. Oh, yes, I think so. Okay, so um, see you again on Wednesday. Look, goodbye, goodbye for now. Yay! Bye. <laughs>